All right, it's time now for your science buzz. Stories creating a little bit of a buzz in the world of science this week. And this week, NASA and SpaceX launched a new crew of astronauts on a trip to the International Space Station. Among the astronauts includes the first Russian cosmonaut to launch on an American spacecraft nearly 20 years, and this American woman, Nicole Mann, the first Native American woman to go into space, and the first woman to serve as commander of a SpaceX flight. The mission was the, the uh, sixth astronaut launch SpaceX has carried out with NASA. It's going to last for about six months on the International Space Station. All right, this is a bit bizarre. A new study illustrating the frightening ability of Burmese pythons to swallow large prey, sometimes as big as a white-tailed deer. The new research published in the Journal of Integrative Organismal uh, Bio Biology say that five times fast, explains that it was previously thought the snakes could unhinge their jaws, but the reality is that reptiles have elastic connective tissue that allows them to open wide, giving some pythons the ability to open their mouths with a gape diameter of up to 30 inches. The massive snakes reach about 18 feet and 200 pounds and typically prey on smaller animals like rabbits, foxes, and raccoons. All right, and there could be more to water than simply H2O. Scientists believe they have uncovered in water the secret for building life. Chemists with Purdue University analyze water and say they have uncovered it in a mechanism for peptide forming reactions. Now I know this sounds really complicated, but let me break it down for you. Peptides are the building blocks of proteins and proteins are the building blocks of life. Scientists believe this could give them some credit to the theory that life on Earth began in the oceans. And they say that learning how water works could help in developing drugs to treat some of the most debilitating diseases. And boy, we could use some water right now. It has been very dry outside. In fact, today